Hi everyone, it's time for another fishing WA adventure. And Ryan, the Sun Sea Villa sign in the background means you're in Kelbarry. Absolutely, and the home of Massive Taylor. Massive Taylor, and lots of massive fish in general. Let's have a look at what's coming up. This show is all about Kelbarry, starting with the best Taylor session you're that ever likely is a to have. Serious slab of greenback. After that, we're going drift baiting for so many different species, we lost count. And it's no surprise that uh, every time we come here, we seem to have a different skipper because we can't get them to come back more than once after they've seen the carnage. They don't want to commit at all. This is a really interesting bit of water today, Ryan. You've got oysters over here. Oyster reef, that is, of course, to the uninitiated. You've got the incoming tide. It's really blue, but look at this brown stuff. It is amazing. You've got the whitewash, your change of water colour, and you'd assume, obviously, the tail will be hanging behind that reef, just in between that change. This is about the best I've ever seen it look. You're Anything could happen, mate. Let's get in. As far as I'm concerned, that's the perfect tailor bait. I've got five 5.0 chemically sharpened Uvella hooks ganged together, and that's going to take up the whole guardy. I've only got a really short leader onto my fire line because they won't swallow even three of those hooks, so you don't really need wire or anything like that. In fact, it's probably going to spook them. That's really as simple as it is. 40 pound leader, gang of five hooks, and a guardy with its nose snapped off. Yep, yep. Woohoo! Man, Lovely. look how my uh, awesome. whole garfish came back, Ryan. One cast, but a big bit of home. Jumping! Look at that, right on the top there. That's amazing. You can see it in the wave. It's a huge fish. Well, Ryan, you can see how now the water is just brown there. It's clear here. There's foam here. It says Taylor. It just says Taylor. Oh, it, it reeks Taylor. Oh, that's a big Taylor. That's a good Taylor as well. Mate, that's at least three and a half kilos. That's amazing. Steve had a touch in the guardie. Straight away, I put the tri ho river to see minnow out. First one to handle, bang. Very aggressive. That's a big Taylor. Oh. That's a big Taylor, Ryan. That is massive. My goodness me. Oh. So big, he can hardly get out of the water. That is a big tailor. No kidding! And look how shallow it is. It's only like three metres of water. Whoa, you don't get these in Perth. No, I don't want to rush this fish. I don't want to throw the minnow. You know they do that. And they'll bite. Oh, he's only just, oh. just hooked. That's big. That's very big. Really trying to get rid of that lure out of his mouth. Well, I'm putting him backwards, all right? forwards. Either way is good. Excellent. That is a serious slab of greenback. Oh my goodness, Ryan. Look at the tail. Look at that tail. That is massive. We'll get the hooks out and show you. Oh, absolutely. Now that's a solid tail. Look at the mouth. Look how thick it is in the body. I'd give that about three and a half kilos. That was my first fish and I've only been here for five minutes. Let's put it back. I'm going to swim it. Oi, I Okay, what's well going? <laughs> Even the big tail have a little tap tap fight. Fight! He came out of the water, dropped the garfish, and then <laughs> hit it again.
Oh yes. That's a great tailor. Oh, come here. Here mate, I've got the net here. No, we don't need it actually. No, you have that? We're all good. We're all good. Well sort of anyway. Oh! On board that, folks, is a great little green back. Well, little? Nah. More like about. Come here. Get away from my feet. More like about. <laughs> More like a bit of a problem. Come here. More like about a three kilo greenback. And Ryan had the lure. I've chucked a garfish in there. He's come right out and just bombed it away. That is just awesome stuff. We'll get the hooks out. Man, this is some awesome action. That was amazing. They're everywhere. They are, yeah. They are all around this, this reef and whitewash. And I saw it falling my pop and I was just getting, uh, my minnow lure, sorry. And I was getting so excited. This is great. Oh, just mixing with that dirty water. Oh, out of the water. Hopefully you saw that, maybe not. Maybe next time, maybe this time. Steve and I are playing around with a few different things. I'm using the lure, he's using the bait. Bit of diversity. I think that's bigger than the last one. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> that is bigger that than the last one. Awesome. And I'm not going to rush it because he may be just hooked just on the, on the outside. So, whoa! Two jumps. Thank you very much. You've been very, very cooperative. Of what? Yeah, Steve's on the net. Thank you very much, mate. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the net under him, but lift him on board so he doesn't go in the net. A bit of safety. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Now lift. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. It's just gone pear shaped. <laughs> pear shaped. Up the front. Surgery time. Another tailor. Ryan's patient may not make it at the front, so while he's tending to that, we'll see what else is kicking about for the guardie to follow. I wouldn't want to be a guardian there. No way. There's some hunters. There's some hunters. Oh, and that's one of them. Yes. Well, that's uh, three hits and two good hookups in three casts. That's unbelievable. I just don't believe what we're doing here. Oh, yeah. Calvary Taylor. You wonder why I keep coming back. You've seen the tragedies. It's like a soap opera. <laughs> Wait for showering there, so there's obviously no tailor around here. There's some fish hunting in here. There certainly is. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one, but we expected that, I guess. Look at the difference in that water colour. I hope you can see that. It's incredible. Over here, it's shockingly brown because there's been tons of rain in Kelberry. The tide is going to reach its high mark in about an hour and a half's time, and that means there's lots of clean water coming in from the ocean, mixing with this brown, muddy stuff, and I've never seen the tail of this fight up, so that's something to think about. Good fish, do you think? Do you think that's a good one? I do. I'm pretty happy, just quietly. On it comes. Nah, that's a terrible fish. <laughs> oh, I'm having no fun at all. Got to keep the engine running here. You never know what's going to come and dump you. I don't know why we're nervous here. I can never work that out. I think we'll have another cast. What do you reckon? One more? 